Dear delivery persons, thank you for the delivery. This is a package and delivered to an important person and is looking forward for its arrival. That's me. Please take extra care when handling the parcel. I have been looking forward for its arrival for two weeks. But finally, SM3N has arrived. Along with some other bits as well. So let's just take a, a look inside, shall we? Okay, so this is um, the delivery I've been waiting for. Some Japanese newspaper and some other bits. This is a, uh, a <laughs> it's like a little face towel from the Pokemon Center. It's the, um, I think it's like Look Upon the Stars or something like that, that uh, campaign they, they ran. It looks really cool, I'm gonna open that up shortly. I've got, here it is, the SM3N one hand opening finally get my hands on this and we can open this today and have a look and see what's inside hopefully something good hopefully you know another secret rare be great or a hyper rare just to make the, the wait worth a while I've also got this to open my hunt for a Charizard GX isn't done just yet I've got one pack to open here I think it's just the one pack but yeah I get this the Charmander promo as well which is really nice uh, Hitokage, I think, in Japanese. So yeah, we'll open up that too. And uh, a final thing, which I got, seems to be at the bottom here. I'm glad this isn't ridiculously taped up, otherwise I'd have a really difficult time getting into it. This beautiful folder from the Pokemon Center it's got uh, Necrozma, Charizard, and Rayquaza on it as well. So I've got somewhere really cool to put my um, put my uh, cards now. I wonder if we can uh, just open this up and take a quick look inside. So I get sleeves with it as well, which is great. Okay. <laughs> So it's a pretty basic binder folder, but it's, it's really nice. It's beautiful black and white. It's got the really nice sleeves inside, the really nice uh, pockets. So that's, that's a great investment. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna uh, split this into uh, a couple of videos. We're gonna do the uh, charm and the Hitokage um, blister, I guess you can call it a Japanese blister. And then also another video for the uh, SM3N, and I've been looking forward to getting to this. The chorus with Marshado, uh, Gardevoir, and I can't remember the, the fourth uh, GX of here. But yes, okay, these are all my bits and pieces. My face towel as well. Um, let's get on with it. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Welcome back to British Gaming. Here we are then, we finally have SM3N uh, booster box. So my Japanese cards finally arrived. It's got Necrozma, Marshadow, Gardevoir, and the fourth GX is uh, it's got Lissapod in this particular set. So um, uh, I expect to pull uh, at least three of those in any variation, really. I'm gonna open up the back here. Um, other great cards in this set. Uh, the, the Secret Rare Energy out of this one is the Fairy Energy. So that'd be pretty exciting. Um, we also have a, a full art Guzma and a full art Wick as well in this particular set. So there's some really good cards in here. If you missed my uh, video on the SM3H, where I was hunting for a Charizard, I got nowhere near it for everything but, but we did manage to pull this. It's the Muscular Dumbbells from SM3H, Secret Rare. So that was the best card from that set. So I highly recommend you go check out me pulling that one. But yes, SM3N. We are finally here. The cross Marshadow. I really like uh, Marshadow as a Pokemon, actually. So to get a, a hyper rare or a uh, a full art version of that would would be uh, great. So we've got a few packs here. I think the two uh, secret rare items in this particular set. I think it's Super Scoop Up, and I think the other one's Rescue Stretcher. So yeah, plenty to plenty to pull, but. I've always found it quite difficult to pull good cards from the uh, from the Japanese boxes. I usually say you get one 
per box, but even even that logic has defied me before. I've, I've opened boxes where I've just got regular GXs and nothing more. Well, I think it happened once, but yeah, it can happen. We'll see what happens here. I'm waiting to do this for a long time, so I think we should definitely get started. We also get to play my favourite game, which is, uh, what's my name? I, I, I'm pretty good with the names, I'm 90% there, probably a bit more than 90, but yeah, I'm not, <laughs> not 100%, some Pokemon just really get left behind. Okay, it's, it's Krogunk at an airport I think, cool artwork, a Rattata, a lone Rattata, um, on a rock in a lake, uh, a Rhydon. That works pretty good here. I think it's a team skull ride on. There's a team skull member behind it. The first uh, rarer card is the Viper. Nice card. And then I think, is that the super scoop up? I think that must be the super scoop up. Yes. So that's our first pack. I think I'm just going to pop them there. So uh, uh, a bad, bad start, guys. Bad start. We've got plenty to get through. I'm sure there's going to be some good cards in this set. I'm sure there is. Um, is that a... Uh, uh, Simi Sage? Or Simi... Something. I'm going to look that one up. Is Wimpod? Oh, is that Time Pole? It's, it's knitted. It's one of the knitted cards, which is quite cool. And then the first one... Aha! We, we have our first GX quite early on. And it looks like it could be Gardevoir. It is Gardevoir GX. So, second back, first GX, Gardevoir GX. Um, I've got a fair few Gardevoir cards. Gardevoir pops up in uh, there's Beware on the Beach, which is kind of nice. Gardevoir pops up quite a few times in the uh, trading card game. Probably the one I would have uh, left out if I had a choice. But yes, Gardevoir, the first GX. I will put her in a little sleeve. There you go, Gardevoir, you can stay right there. We'll carry on charging through these. Marsh Shadow against Necrozma. Is that something to come from the new film? We don't know. Pack number three is Morlo. Tangela. Oregon 2. And the number two is in English there. The red card is uh, not mud bray, is it? It's uh, uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm struggling. Mudsdale, yes, Mudsdale, definitely Mudsdale. Got there in the end. There's Tangrowth, evolution of Tangler as well, and Comet. Okay, onwards we go. So I actually have a, a Japanese blister follow this. It's not going to be in this video, it's going to be in a separate video and um, uh, it, it's basically got a charm and a promo in it as you saw at the start here and um, it, yeah I get an extra SM3 and an SM3H pack so I'm, I'm hoping for Charizard in my one pack. But yeah that is uh, I think that's definitely, oh it's Pan4 is it? I'm sure it's Pan4. Uh, right on. The Caterpie, it's like a watercolour painting. And then in with a hollow, it's Gyarados. It, that looks really nice. It's great artwork on there. It's really nice hollow, that Gyarados. So, and Brushix as well. So I'll put Gyarados down there. A little hollow pile. In my, in my SM3, um, my SM3H, which is, uh, did you see the battle rainbow? I got like duplicates of all my hollows. There were so many hollows in that box. I got every GX Pokemon out of four, apart from one, is Magic Cup. And it was Charizard, and if you see the video, I, I was really after that Charizard Porygon. The artwork is really good in this set. It's Esper, isn't it, that one? And then a, a Surviper and a Guzma. It's kind of cool, Guzma. So yeah, I may end up buying a Charizard online or something like that. Especially the Hyper Rare looks incredible. Uh, okay, it's it's Curlia. That's Mudbray. That's Mudbray. Uh, Krogunk again. 
We got a hot. No, we got a GX. Another GX, and it is Necrozma GX. It's Necrozma GX, which is the uh, the boy on the front of the pack. And behind it is uh, Alolan Eradicate, which is for those to one side. It's a really nice artwork on this Necrozma. Really nice. Um, okay, so we're, we're two Pokemon down out of the four. Got Lissa Ford and Marshadow to go. I'd really like to get the Marshadow out of this set. I think just a regular GX Marshadow looks really cool. And I hope it, it doesn't go the same way as the Charizard in respect that the one I wanted most out of the set I don't get. But we're not actually that far into it. We've got a long way to go yet. Um, here is Rayhorn and Metapod. And Staffle, which is kind of cute, I guess, isn't it? And then this one here, I'm not sure what, what that card is. Um, is it Torment Spray? I think it might be uh, Torment Spray. And the uh, Tangrowth again. So two GXs, two standard GXs. I'd say the average is... I'd say the average is three GXs and then the fourth card is, is, a, is, a, is a full art card or a secret rare or even a, a hyper rare, hopefully. I've never... Would you believe I've never pulled a, a hyper rare Japanese card and I've been through a fair amount of packs. There's Dust Gold there, Oregon 2, uh, a hollow, it's a Raichu hollow, which is quite nice. Krogunk in the artwork as well. It's a quite a nice hollow, so I'm going to pop that down there. And we've got the uh, the stadium card, which is Potam in this set. So this is, this is quite a, a strong. Uh, team skull theme throughout this one because you get Guzma Full Art as well. Along with uh, Pota and some other bits and pieces too. Yeah, we're getting, through, we're getting some good cards from the set. And it's Rolts. I've not seen a lot of this artwork. That's nice artwork on Rolts there. Uh, Wimp Hot again. And it's uh, Pan. Pan. Pan poor. Yes, Pan poor. You've got the semi poor, don't you? Yeah. And then uh, this is this is this is definitely got to be Shin I'm sure it's uh, oh it's Shinotic, isn't it? That's perhaps not Shinotic. So that's a better card from that set. And then Butterfree as well, which looks kinda cool. Kind of, you can you can kinda of fat there, Butterfree. You're right mate. Uh, anyway. Anyway, bursting through these, try and pick up the pace a little bit on some of these packs. I hope you pull something really, really good. That'd be awesome. Uh, this is what I've got from awesome Time Pole. It's, it's um, no, I'm, I'm going to give up. I'm sure it's electric or something electros. I'm, I think it's electric, isn't it? Uh, Lolan Rotata. Uh, there's Caterpie, and then uh, a Hollow, which is Oregon Z. Oregon Z is the hollow. Nice hollow there. And then wick, we haven't had wick yet. Pretty good. Uh, final five from this side, guys. It's Sork, isn't it? Sork. Well, I've got some really uh, difficult ones in here. Time pole, uh, ride on. And the better one is beware and then the one that evolves from Esper, I can't remember half of these, you know. I, th I think it's Meowstick, isn't it? Meowstick evolves from Esper. Not doing too bad considering. Some people do these things, they couldn't name you the first 150. But hey, who am I to judge? It's Porygon. Pikachu! The first Pikachu we've had. Um, yeah, it looks kind of nice. I like, <laughs> Like I said, the art looks pretty good from the set. Mudbray, and then uh, Super Scoop. That's Electros. Uncommon. Electros, so three packs away from halfway through. We've got two Jexes so far, which is what I'd, I'd, I'd expect from one side of the, uh, the box. Anything more than four good cards would be great, but um, I wouldn't be too hopeful on that. Magikarp, Rolts, uh, Dusk Noir, and... Uh, <laughs> I just pulled it straight up there. 
But, um, no, sorry, this one was Dusk Clocks. It evolves into this hollow in Dusk Noir, which is really nice. Again, I really don't want to double up on too many of my hollows. Toxic Croak there as well, we've not had that yet. I, I literally ended up with about six different hollows in my last booster box, and I got doubles of all of them. And it's not something I want to repeat. I want different ones, or GXs, or Hyper Rares, come on. It's a uh, Rhyhorn, it's a uh, uh, Simipaw or something. The Sclops, and I uh, just pull it straight up there without even checking. This could be our good card of the, the day. It's Full Art Gardevoir, which is beautiful. It's, it's a really nice card, actually. I didn't think it'd be this nice. Gardevoir, not my preferred choice from this set, but nonetheless, there it is. Um, brush X as well. I'm going to sleeve up Gardevoir. I've got a whole half and more to go, so we could be on for five GXs here, which would be great. Yeah, Gardevoir. Full art, so not a hyper rare, but a full art. Which is decent, isn't it? Last pack in this half. I'd be surprised if there's anything uh, here. A Stuffle, Metapod. Esper, and it's a Hollow Zygarde, straight up. <laughs> we can start checking these things. Hollow Zygarde, nice, strong artwork again. Uh, Guzma, so that's that half done. And you know, we've, we've got three down. We've got a uh, Gardevoir GX, we've got the Necrozma GX, and then we've got the full art Gardevoir as well, which is really nice. We've still got a whole half to go through, guys. So, you know, I think. Um, our chances of getting more than just what I, I say is the standard four uh, Pokemon is is great. We got a great chance of this. We start strong in this half. We could be on for five. I'd I'd like a Marshadow of some sort. Porygon, Sork, a Dust Noir. And a hollow Gyarados, so as soon as we start the second half, I seem to be doubling up on my hollows again. Eradicate. It's really easy to open this patch, just pull down the side. Just pull them open. Take note, England. Rolls. Pikachu. Mudbrain. Rare card is Potam. Then a Shinotic. Sure, we're doing a couple of a right you by now, aren't we? Uh, electric, Caterpie, Magic Up, and it's, it's not a double of a right you, it's a, it's a new hollow which is a uh, Rhyperia. Pretty cool. Butter free. One, two, three, four, five, six hollows. I think it was six or seven different ones. In uh, the first piece box, so I think we might have them all. I'm not sure. Um, Stuffle. That's uh, the spray. And we have stick at the end. Come on, we need to pick up a GX soon, and we're on for five if we can. Dust Clops. Tangler. Porygon two. Can we hit another GX? It's another rare. There's. <laughs> I said we should be due one. As uh, a uh, Hollow Raichu again. Electros behind it. It'd be great to get uh, like a secret rare. Fairy energy or something like that. I think our good card may have gone with that guard of well. I hope I'm wrong. It's a uh, semi or pan pour, isn't it? The Esper Wimpod. We're waiting for it. It's, it's, there it is. GX, a Marshadow GX. Good, I'm glad, I'm glad I pulled that one, I was really after it. It's such a nice looking card, just the regular GX is, is a really beautiful thing. Um, it might be the fact that we missed out on Galissapod from this set, but it's I don't mind that so much. I'm glad we haven't missed out on the Marshadow. So I'm going to put that in the sleeve, it looks really great. Just a regular GX card, it's going to be one of the nicer regular GX cards out there, for sure. Which leaves us with... A fair few packs to get another uh, GX from. So 
So let me just count these up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 packs all together. So not too bad. Plenty, plenty of time to get another jack. I imagine we're going to get a few more duplicate hollows. However, just have a look. Rotata, Morlo, Porygon, and it's the evolution for Mudbray. Uh, Toxicroak there. Mudsdale, isn't it? Mudsdale. Mudsdale. Okay, come on, come on. Uh, Simipaw, uh, Time Ball, Curlier, and it's uh, Wick, Rushix. On for five, come on. Five would be great. Glissapod would make the set. I think it's asking too much for another full art or a secret rare or a hyper rare. I think that's asking way too much. Um, Canopy, Sork, uh, Ralts, uh, Duplicate of D Dusk Noir, Dusk Noir, and uh, Beware. So we're still waiting for duplicates of Porygon Z, Zygarde, and Rhyperia. I'm sure they'll come. I'm sure they'll come. Uh, Krogunk. Mudbrain, Electric. Rare card here is uh, Alolan Raticate and a Super Scoop. Also comes in Secret Rare. Alas, alas. Dusk Noir, Tangela, Dusclops, a Hollow. So, yeah, there's, there's Duplicate Porygon Z. So, I'm, there's definitely a pattern with these booster boxes with the amount of uh, Hollows you get in. It's not, it's not ideal. We're actually down to the last four now, so maybe we're not on for five after all. We're still missing a duplicate <laughs> side guard and right barrier if they come. A Rhyhorn, Pikachu again. A Stuffle, a Surviper, and a Shinotic. Final three, guys. Final three. Metapod. Esper, right on. That's the, uh, the spray, isn't it? Torment spray. Last two packs. I'm sure there'll be a hollow in one of these, which will be Rhyperia or Zygarde. That follow pretty much exactly the same pattern as uh, the last booster box where I ended up with. It was just one card I, I got which wasn't a hollow. Another GX or something would be amazing. And here is the hollow. It's, it's Zygarde. It's, it's kind of predictable. Put Zygarde down there. There'll be nothing in this last pack, I don't think. But yeah, it's kind of predictable the way I've doubled up on all my hollows apart from one again. I've got uh, three GXs and one. Uh, don't know what you want to call it. Really rare. Uh uh. Just program time pole. Learn of a and we end it with, with Electros and Butterfree. So yeah, okay, so let's just run through what we've got guys. It's, it's not been too bad, has it really? We've got Gardevoir, uh, GX. We, we've got Necrozma, GX. It's a really nice, really nice card, nice artwork. We've got Marsh Shadow GX, which is, again, it, it's it's really nice artwork. And the full art we got, which is our rarest card, was Gardevoir. I would have probably liked to see one of the, uh, one of the, uh, new generations as one of these, so you know, we didn't get a Glissapod at all. That was the only one missing from the set, but yeah, it, we can't be too disappointed. Gardevoir, we got a, a bunch of hollows as well, so yeah, um, that um, was my booster box for Light Consuming Darkness. I think it's Light Consuming Darkness or something like that. Um, thank you guys for, for watching. I've, I've got a couple more Japanese bits coming up. Yeah, we're gonna have another stab at this, and we're gonna have another stab at SM3 H as well. We've got one more pack of each with my Charmander promo, so yeah, look out for that one. But yeah, thanks for joining me. If you guys could like and give us a subscribe as well, that'd be great. It really helps me out a bunch. And yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.